You want to do an intro? I do an intro. What's up? Uh, welcome to the Mike and Us show. This is a special episode. We are doing a top 10 video games. Oh, that didn't work out, right? Our top 10 games of all time. Of all time. Of all time. Ever. E-V-A-R. Yes, yes, yes. This is our, like, this is t- my top 10, and then it's Mike's top 10, kind of at the same time. Um, it, you know, we know it's extremely subjective, but... Nah, not subjective. Mine's you're right. right. This, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, well, these are the best. <laughs> <laughs> all uh, right. I kind of want to go first. <laughs> all right, let's just get it in writing this puppy. Go first, Mike. Right this puppy? Do it, I Mike. What is your number 10? My number 10 game of all time, and this is a game that I think will surprise you because I don't think you think I would put this game on my list. Okay. Number 10 for Mike is Rocket League. It's number 10? Number 10. Rocket what? League. What? Bro, I knew you'd put it, but I thought you'd put it like higher in the list, man. Number 10? <laughs> number 10, baby. Let's oh, go. I don't know. I don't like it, Mike. I don't like it. No. Number ten. Like, I mean, I, I, I. So I love all the time I spend with Rocket League. I, I, I kind of like how much better I've gotten, but I still fucking suck. But then I watch YouTube videos and realize that everybody fucking sucks, and it's fine. I wish you would have put a higher man. At least, at least seven hey, bro, or higher. Listen, bro. Listen. Fine. What's your number ten, okay. bud? My number ten, and it might surprise you as well. My number ten <laughs> is Red Faction Two. I actually played this game a lot, and this was actually I played it a lot after it came out. Like I think it came out. What year did that come out? It came out in 2002. Yeah, it came out in 2002, and I was literally playing like at 2005. We're still playing. Not this is not Red Faction. uh, uh, What's it called? No, Gorilla. No, 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 no. It's just Red Faction Two. Red Faction Two. Dude, I remember this. I didn't necessarily play online too much, but we played a lot of uh, System Link with me and my family, or my brothers and my friends. And the only reason why I have it on my list is because how much time I spent on this game. And it was just, <laughs> it was just so fun. It was just like, the game wasn't the best game, but in my eyes, it was just so fun to play. And it, and it was just, I don't know, I don't know. It's probably not a great Tell game, what, but... That is <sighs> super fucking surprising to me that you I put knew Red Faction it. on there. I knew it. <clears throat> I knew it. I would have. I would have never guessed that you'd put Red Faction. <laughs> on there. All right. Yeah, I feel good about it. Listen, the game is just. Uh, it's a good game. It's a good game. All right. Moving on to number nine. What's your number nine? My number nine, and this also might surprise you as well. Twisted Metal, the original. Okay. Okay. The original. I could, I could. So that's your, that's your oldest game, I assume. That is. Let's see. This game came out in 1995. This is definitely. Oh. Dude, check this out. So I was born in 1991. I was four years old when this game came out. <laughs> However, we didn't get a PlayStation One till like 19, like 2000 or some shit. <laughs> Once we got a PlayStation One, this is the first game we played, and this is the first game that me and my three brothers played. And we had this little fucking adapter where you'd connect, because there are only two controllers on the PS One. Connect two little mm-hmm. things and make it four oh, controllers. Oh, y'all got the four-man adapter? Yeah. Okay. yeah. That was, so, that was the ball dude, life. we played so much Twisted Metal, and it was like <laughs> one of the fondest memories I've had of playing with my brothers and my family. Yeah. What's your number nine, Mike? Bro, my number nine, guarantee you never played it. Also the oldest game on my list at 1997. Originally came out for the PlayStation 1. Okay. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Okay. <laughs> um, I've it heard is, of it. So it's it's like a Metroid style game, like where you're going around side scrolling through a map and shit. Uh, but they added like uh, RPG shit, like you could level up and you could get gear and you could get weapons and sell stuff at the shop and crazy shit with bosses and the world. When you think the game's over, the map turns upside down. It's fucking massive. Wow. And it's crazy. It was like one of the Fuck first games that it added like levels and like uh, upgrades and like XP and stuff. I mean, it was like it was one of the first games that added that kind of shit, like out of genre. Because there was there was RPGs back then, but this was like a side-scrolling slashing game. And then they added like RPG shit to it, where you're leveling up and you're getting XP points and you're getting like armor and you're getting fucking weapons and shit. It was just badass. I I, I I know the game. I've seen it. I've seen like clips here and there, but I've never played it. But I'm fucking sure it's a great game. game. All right. 
<clears throat> Moving on to number eight, Mike. What is your number eight? Number eight. Uh, this this was hard because this is where it got like the next mm. few kind of all were like, all right, which one goes away or so. Uh, number eight, I ended at Grand Theft Auto Five. Wow. Yeah, I fucking love Grand Theft Auto Five. I uh, when when that game came out originally in 2013, you believe that game's that old? Yeah, it was uh, still pumping out money. I, I bought it for I bought it for uh, Xbox 360, and then all the guys at work played it on PS3, so I bought it for PS3, and then they re-released it on PS4, so I bought it on PS4. Yep. And yeah. then they released it on fucking PC, so I bought it on PC. And then I got tired of playing that stupid Rockstar straight version, so I bought it again on Steam. Oh my! I've literally paid for this game five fucking times, and I've beaten <laughs> it like four. And <laughs> I, I realized when I was thinking about this mm-hmm. list that I actually fucking love GTA Five. Wow! I actually <laughs> bought it one less time. I bought it the same amount of times, except the Steam. <laughs> I kept the Rockstar version. Um, mm-hmm. However, you want to know something? A fun fact about GTA? Mm-hmm. I have no GTA on my list. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! GTA Five is just—I like all the GTAs, but GTA Five. No, it's amazing. Uh, I'm not saying it's I not. A, I, I, I love. I've been played through the campaign multiple times. I fucking love that game. Yeah. All right. I did it this year. Or not this I year. Know. I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember when you had no internet. <laughs> yeah, and it was now. So it's like fucking. I beat GTA, and it fucking worked. All right, you ready for my number eight, Mike? You ready, Mike? Number eight. Let me have it. All right, my number eight is Fable Two. Ooh. Yeah, so I That's actually, cool. so, okay, this is, okay, so just so you guys know, I was at lunch today with Mike and I asked him, yo, can we, can we, like, we're adding, like, a, like a, essentially a series, because I love Fable 1 and Fable 2, but mm-hmm. I, cu- I was thinking of just adding Fable 1 and Fable 2 as number 8, but I couldn't, I couldn't just because right. you said no, they're different games, so... <clears throat> I, I, I like Fable 2 a lot more. I have more memories of it because it's older and I was older and whatnot. But I played the hell out of Fable 2. I did all the side quests. I did everything. It was just it was just an amazing game. Like, I, I thought, like, uh, I, I never really was really into, like, RPGs. And this game got me and just held me by the balls and just dragged me everywhere. Follow. Exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, Fable 1 was one of my honorable mentions. Fable 1 was real close to making this list because I fucking love Fable same, 1. I same. like Fable 2 a lot too, but Fable 1 kind of like hit me at a time. Like you were probably younger, so then he, yeah. like Fable 1 was like the first. I was just like, holy shit. I was blown away by Fable Does 1. Is Fable not on your list? This is, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, I guess I fucked that up. <laughs> let's move on to number seven. I'm next, right? I'm next. Uh, I am, wait. yeah, because you started and then I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my number seven is StarCraft 1. Ooh, good pull. Dude, yep. StarCraft 1, I played it so Dude, much. When did that come out? Hold on, let me guess, let me guess. 1994. Uh, no, actually. Uh, 1998. That late? Yep. Actually, you want to know something? Oh, they took three years, or a little over oh, three years what? to make this game. You That's know what? I was th- I'm thinking of the Warcraft games. Yeah, uh, Warcraft. See, I played Warcraft games, but I never got into it. Like I, like I got Starcraft. Dude, I, I used Warcraft too, man. I played a lot. Of yeah. That. Well, online wasn't a thing back then. It had to be exactly. like network. It had to be like network, and I didn't know anybody else. So you know, we would just bring a PC to someone's house. It wasn't a thing back then. It was just a mess. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Starcraft. When I played it so much, I went so hard into like the PvP and online game, and I went to like like a virtual tournament. I didn't do great, but I did a little bit. Um, but yeah, all right. What's your number seven, Mike? Give it to me. My number seven is where I think it gets controversial, and, and you may not agree with me. Uh, my number seven is Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, I don't know if this should even be on the list, Mike. <laughs> what the? Some people argue. Some people fuck? argue it's not even a video game. I fucking love that game. Yeah, it's a um... it, 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 dude, it taught me so much bullshit about physics and space. It's insane how great that, how much went into that game, and the second one is coming out this year, next year. I can't fucking wait. Fucking Kerbal Space Program. Let's go. Okay. I. <laughs> I mean, listen. It's a game. It's a game. I'm not gonna say it's not a game. It's definitely a it's, game. It's just one. Of, all right. So it's it's kind of like a, a space version of I don't know something like Minecraft where. 
yeah, you could do the things that the game wants you to do, or you can make your own fun and just fucking go. And that game, when I just build shit just to build shit, let me see if I could do this thing. Fucking game's amazing. Wow. I didn't think it was going to make it on, on, on list. I mean, I like the game. I'm not great. At, I actually suck balls at the game. But I didn't, think it was, I didn't think it was going to make uh, make it on your list. I knew you, I know you like love the game. That's crazy. Like, I mean, nobody's good at that game except for like I don't know Scott Manley, one of those streamers that just fucking make it look easy. All right, where we at? Where we at? We're at number six, right? That was number six. I gave you. <clears throat> what was your number six? Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm an idiot. The reason this video may have been paused right now, or that Aussie had to edit in this part. Is because during our countdown, I completely skipped a number. I missed my number six game. Why did I miss my number six game? Because I'm stupid. I just we just counted bad. It went straight to Asi after seven, and here we are. And I never talked about my number six. My number six game is Mass Effect Two. Why? Because it's another Bioware game. This is the third Bioware game on my list, and I fucking love it. And I know what Asi's saying. You love you love it, can't you read it, B? Yes, I do. Because it's a great game. So, anyone who doesn't agree with me, you can fuck off. Anyone mad because I fucked up the list, you can also fuck off. Anyone mad because the audio or the lighting in this video doesn't match the rest of it, you can fuck off too. Mass Effect 2. Number 6 for Mike. Oh, that was your number 6 you gave me? Okay. My number 6, and this one also might surprise you a little bit, is Gran Turismo, the first one. That doesn't surprise me at all. Okay. Good. Yeah, I, I expected that. I expected, dude. I expected that. I played the shit out of this. In fact, if anything, if anything, I thought it would be higher on this list. It, okay, it was this. It was between <laughs> six and five. Like six and five were like this. Is what I was yeah. telling you, like I was, I was. So, so, so okay. So you guys know we didn't talk about what our games we had in our list. Like we said, we're yeah. gonna do it. We came up with our list, but we didn't talk about it until now. This is actually when I'm finding his list and he's knowing mine. But yeah, Gran Turismo. <laughs> Dude, I played it so much when I was I was like I would go home from I would get home from work I mean from work from school and I just play the shit out of it play endurance races like do like 20 30 laps give it to my brother he would do like 20 30 laps it was just awesome dude I'll, I'll never forget like is the first game that you're like all right let me play this game and it's like nah fuck you bro get a license <laughs> <laughs> dude remember the licenses and all the licenses you have to get like oh I want to do this series bro, of game, when of you races get to the, when you get nope. to the S class licenses oh my god fucking cut hard, off your balls dude, dude it's fucking ridiculous dude, there's chunks of that shit especially the breaking ones where I'm literally trying this shit 50 60 times to get the fucking thing right mm, pissed yeah. me off but yeah. it's awesome that shit is don't make racing games like that no more because they can't because people won't buy them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. Like, and it's really it's sad because, like, like if it's you ask me, if you ask me, which okay, what's your like favorite? I, I don't know. Like, what's your like number one or favorite game like racing game to play? I'd probably put one of the Forges over Gran Turismo. However, I, I, Gran Turismo I, I think early four, the early fours is like Forza two or three. But even even then, yeah. like Gran Turismo had this thing where where like it was really fucking brutal. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, like, it was like, like it was like. It was like it was more hardcore. I was like, all right, yeah. bitch, we, you, you, we're not just going to let you jump inside that fucking that open wheel car and go. You're going to have to earn your way you, into dude, that you had to, Remember that one fucking race that you had? I raced like a million times because I think you get like two grand every time you finish yeah. it. We ra- dude, that shit was brutal. Dude, I'll never forget. Like, I'll do these easy races just like the same fucking race, easy ass, half oval shape. Half like almost shaped like a shoe, and I do that shit sixty times just to get enough to get a new turbo or Dude. some shit. Like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. Well, okay, I, I feel good about it because I didn't that's, think that's a good pull. I didn't nah, think good. I didn't think you would uh, you would agree with me. That's good. I, I expected that on, on on your list, really, especially as big as like car guy you are. And yeah, stuff like that. yeah, and yeah, and that game it, it, and that like, game is made for car guys dude, and tuners. And it was like yeah, that. exactly, man. That shit like you can upgrade like before specific before things. Fast and Furious came out and made it this stupid fucking shit that everybody turned yeah. into. Yeah, like just <laughs> upgrade, 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 buy everything, yeah. maxed out, beat everyone, like kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was my number six. Uh, All right. So now you, you, what's your number five? My number five, Monk. You might not like this pick, but my number oh. five is RuneScape. Yeah, let it soak in. I mean, I don't like that. Let it soak but in. There's millions of people to this day that still play that game. Mike, uh, so I mean, it sure is fucking there. better than Kerbal. That's for fucking sure. No, you're <laughs> fucking Iron Man. <laughs> I mean, listen, bro. The RuneScape. Listen, the amount of skill required to play Kerbal blows that game out of the. What? Fucking game. 
Get the fuck out of here. Bro, you had to be a fucking accountant to play fucking RuneScape. That game was ridiculous. <laughs> like, there was, there's nothing, there's nothing like, like, okay, how many logs do I need to fucking chop to get the next level? Oh, 644,000 logs. Okay, cool. How many trips does that yeah, shit take? 700 yeah, trips. It's just. Yeah, but that's just, that's just tedium. That's not difficult. Uh, I don't know, man. There was just <laughs> nothing just, else like like this tedium grind. I'm not saying it's bad because obviously there's a, a market for it, but that's not hard. <laughs> uh, I guess is not like I mean I don't know. This game, dude. This game came out came out in 2001. This was before and the I'm really sure, really sure, massive like MMOs sure, and shit came out. And I'm sure mm-hmm. high level or even mid level PvP in that game is very difficult and requires a lot of skill. Yeah. Not, I'm not. And it's to take brutal as fuck. Game. Brutal as yeah, fuck. Because you die, you lose everything. People, you lose all your shit. Yeah. I don't know. I this mean, game... you stuff in chess, though, right? Like, how do you? No, 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 no. Well, back in the days when first, when I first, you lose, you lose everything. Like sometimes you'd keep the first three items so in you, your inventory, but you lose have, everything. Like, all, like you could have hundreds of hours worth of shit and just lose everything back well, to zero. Well, like in RuneScape, there's only specific areas where you can die, like where another player can oh, kill yeah. you. So yeah, but even if you're if you go out there, you just die and you lose everything. Start over. Kind of. Kind of. I well, not start over. You still have all your levels and shit. But I mean, it's kind of a risk reward kind of thing. Like, how much gear do I want to take to probably possibly kill someone? But at the same time, um, you don't want to take too much shit because if you die, which you probably are, like, there's a relatively high percent chance that you're going to die. Um, and it's just, I don't know. The, the 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 wild is just a beautiful thing. Like every level in the wild, you go up, that increases and and uh, of the levels of like if you're level ten and your level in in the level like the further up you go in the wild, they increase your level. Like level ten wild, anyone ten levels above you can kill you, but anyone ten levels under you can kill as well. So uh-huh. it just created this fucking amazing system where you would run up and then if you know that some guy's one level higher, you just run down. It's just fucking. I don't know. RuneScape, I played that shit for years. And then as soon as they fucking came out with old school RuneScape, I played it for a wee even a fucking three more years after that shit. It was just <laughs> it was just amazing. And I know you have friends that still play it to this day. Exactly. Which is kind of crazy. Exactly. Uh, okay. My number five, which I know you never played, uh, is, is uh, it came out in 2009. And it originally came out on the PS3 and, and Xbox 360. And it's now on Windows and everything. My friends at BioWare put it together. Dragon Age Origins. I fucking love that game. Mm, damn, that's your number it's fucking five? Yeah, you know, it's an RPG. It has an mm. epic-ass storyline that spans many years. Is this the, oh, is this the older one? Wait, what year did this one come out? 2009. So it is the older one. Because I remember I tried the, the most recent Dragon Age, and I just couldn't get into no, it. No, 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 no. No, those, those, the newer, the more, the one that came out, what, 2015 or whatever that was? Yeah, some shit like that. Has, that's not even fucking close. Fuck no. Because that's this, when I tried. This, was, it was, this just... was made by this was made by Bioware when by before Bioware got eaten by EA. This game is like old RPG ass, good story writing, good acting ass Bioware. This game is fucking amazing. <sighs> okay. Damn. Well, hundred. Look, here's a, here's a stat that I'm looking at on the page. Uh, they employed over 144 voice actors to 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 to. That's, uh, that's a lot of fucking. Characters in the game. That's yeah, that's nuts. a fucking yeah. That's how much talking and dialogue and bullshit is in the story of that game. It's fucking crazy. I love dude. You want to know a stat about RuneScape? RuneScape has the game. The game has had over 200 million accounts created and has recognized by uh, the Guinness World Record <laughs> as the world's largest, uh, most popular free MMORPG. I wonder oh, when that happened. Oh, two hundred, well, actually, two hundred million accounts is fucking nuts. If you think about it, like, I mean, <clears throat> it is yes, it is nuts, but it's less nuts when you think that like it's free and that those Chinese farming companies and they could, anyone could just make one in five seconds. So it's like, I guess most free games have a ridiculous amount of accounts because. You know. Well, this anyway. one was in Guinness World Records, Mark, so fuck you. Uh, listen, I'm not taking away from that shitty game. All right, I'm actually kind of intrigued. I'm actually kind of intrigued. We're getting to inside of our top five. I'm kind of intrigued because there's a couple games that you haven't said. So I really, you know, it would fucking blow my mind if we align. <laughs> and I think at this point, it's just this one game that we're both going to have on our list. And and I, I really wonder. <sighs> All right. So that was that was number five. That was number five. We're, we're number four now. Who who announced number uh, number five first? I think I did. Yeah, I did. You did. All right, go ahead, Mike. So What's I number gotta, four. I gotta say my number four. 
Uh, my number four is uh, Final Fantasy XII. That fucking shitty game. I fucking love that game. Is that the one they remade? Is that the one what? They, that they remade? Uh, it, they, it, I think they remade it on PC like a year ago or something like that. Yeah. I just can't. I, I don't know. I just can never get into those fucking shitty yeah. turn-based games. And it's just cool like... Job system. Crazy, crazy... Uh, Storyline, one of the best fucking bad guys in fucking JRPG history, I think. Wow. I fucking, I love one it. One of the best bad guys? What the mm-hmm. fuck made him the best? I don't know. Google Judge Judge Gabronth. That guy's a badass. Judge? I'm going to watch this right now. How the fuck do you even... Oh, there it is. Gabronth. I should autocorrect. Damn, that guy looks like a fucking monster. Yeah, he's a badass, uh, dude. He looks fucking sick. Like, I'd suck at that dude's dick. Like, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. that was your number four, Mike? Mm-hmm. Fuck. All right. Um, well, shit, you picked that shitty game. So my number four is Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's your number four? That's my number four. Listen... I, I listen. I you know you know I'm not a big crazy single player uh, RPGs right, but you told me to play this game. I never I didn't fucking play it for like forever. Like I never I just fucking ignored it. And then once I actually played, it, I was like, Yo, Mike, this game is fucking amazing. And you're like, Oh my god, I fucking told you. I remember that shit. And it was just yeah, I don't know. I think Breath of the Wild is an amazing game. I think it's probably my favorite RPG to this day. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Um. Yeah, that's that's it's just fucking Breath of the Wild, man. Breath of the Wild. I I mean I could get with that. I I I. But you'd put it higher because I know it's higher in your list, you son of a bitch. (laughs) All right, um, all right. Moving on to number three, bro. Number three. We're top three. We're top three. I feel like we skipped something. Look at. I mean, do you not have your list in front of you? I do, but I don't know. I feel uh, whatever. Go ahead. Top three. We're we're fucking breathing to this bitch. All right, top three. My number three. Which still, right now, I'm kind of like uh, back and forth with it, with possibly since to number two, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. My number three is Rocket. Okay. I mean, I'm probably no weird, no surprise. Yeah, it is high, but weird. listen, bro. Rocket League, I've been playing it since listen, like I, I, no 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 quarrels here, bro. I fucking love this. <sighs> Rocket League is just amazing. The, the 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 competitiveness is just fucking amazing and this was like one of the first games that they allowed the whole like cross-platform online play and like they just fucking yeah i don't know they I sold holy shit they sold over 10 million cop sales and 40 million players beginning of 2018 that's a lot of yeah rock is one of my favorite games and i've been playing it for years and still to this day one of my favorite games it's my tenth favorite game. <laughs> Ten. Mine's is my number three. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right, what's your number three, Mike? Give me your number three. Drum roll. My number three. From two thousand three, original release on the original Xbox, not the Xbox three hundred and sixty. Uh huh. An RPG from the folks at Bioware again. Star Wars: Knights of the Old oh, Republic. Oh my God, does that game was shit, Mike? You're out of your fucking mind. Uh, was fucking epic. And on top of it being epic, it had one of the craziest plot twists in fucking gaming history. I could never get into that game. I don't know. I just I couldn't could fucking... Suck it. suck it life. There's nothing I can do about that. <sighs> I don't know. <clears throat> I could just never get into it. I mean... I mean, yeah. I mean, I uh, you know... At this point, if you're not into those old school CRPGs, there's no way you're gonna get into it. Like now, like to be able to go through that and go through those conversation trees and all that stuff. Games has evolved. That game is fucking amazing. I mean, Top no, I remember when it first. I remember when it when, like when it came out. I was relatively young as well, but like by then, I was like, yeah, like I don't know. I had other games that I was playing, and I, I and just never caught my fucking eye. And, and I believe that game, game was on PC, right? Uh, I think eventually, yes. Let me oh, see. okay, but Pretty it was normally on console. Release on, well, it, it was exclusive to the old Xbox, and Xbox then it came out on the PC. Duke. Yeah, the Duke. It, then it came out on PC a month later. It's an RPG. It's just a regular RPG. It's an RPG. Not online RPG. It's just an RPG. Mm-mm, just an RPG. Wow, I can't believe that's your fucking. 
fucking love that game. That is, this is bananas. I like your number yeah. two. I mean, number yeah. three. Sorry, it's number three, right? Yeah, it's number three. Number three. Wow. All right. <clears throat> well, that's an unfortunate uh, selection. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is your number two, Mike? Your number dose. My number two. Let me go here. My number two is The Witcher 3. Damn. It's yeah. that high? Yep. Holy shit. Okay, so... The only reason, okay, the only reason why it's not on my list is because I di haven't like played a and lot of it. You haven't beaten it. You exactly. Haven't, really haven't gotten, beaten it. You haven't, haven't even played to where it gets good. Exactly. So I and I love the game. I've been playing it like on and off every here and then, uh, and and I it's fucking amazing. But I, the only reason why I didn't put it on my list is because I haven't played enough of it to even put it on my list. There's a point, like in that game, it takes a while. I mean, the game's good all the way through, but there's a point a little bit later when you hit like level maybe twenty or so. And everything starts to click, and you just start to like you get a feel for how the game works and what potions to use and how to approach every fight, and you just start fucking plowing through that game. It's fucking ridiculous. You're playing for like the second time now, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's my second playthrough, <clears throat> and I'm I'm uh, sixty hours into this playthrough. Wow, <laughs> fucking love that. Yeah, game. damn. That's What's your number two, bro? My number two, as I'm sure you can guess, is Halo Two. Halo 2, number 2. Nope. Halo 2, number 2. Came out 2004, and I literally picked it up. And I, I wish I kind of wish we would have done. I kind of wish we would have done the paper pad thing because I had your top three figured out in order. I, I I knew it. I fucking knew it. Well, I was thinking of okay. So I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking of, of putting Rocket League number two and Halo number three, uh, but Halo 2 did this thing where. I I really got into fucking like uh, FPSs. I mean, you were doing and you were doing term you were doing tournaments. You still do them with your family and shit. Yeah, like yeah, we do. We did fucking system links. We did like a bunch of like two v two tournaments. We did like Halo two. Just got like I just went fucking full balls to the wall with fucking Halo two, and I played so much Halo two that it's just I I had to put it very high on the list. And yeah, I, I don't know. Halo two to me is probably one of the best FPSs and online FPS that developed something that like it just made something that wasn't out there like that cold competitiveness and like that that ranking structure was like so unique and i think halo 2 uh did it the best and still to this day it's probably fucking up there in regards to uh, its ranking system yeah so now your number one game i wonder what it is <laughs> <laughs> it's shitty because <laughs> mike <laughs> definitely knows my number one game um, to no surprise to the people that really know me, my number I'm one game I don't know about you. is Go. World of Warcraft. <gasps> Holy so shit! I didn't even think that made the list. I thought, <laughs> fuck you, Mike. WoW <laughs> is one of the best games ever fucking made. It's literally the best MMO, and every every other game can go fuck themselves. WoW is the best MMO. Even though retail right now is not the funnest and it's not the greatest. Uh, actually, currently I'm only playing classic, but. I played it since fucking, dude. I played this game for 13, 14 years, and every single time I'd say I'm gonna quit, and I'd come back a couple months after and just play the shit out for like two or three years. I, I, and, and not only that, the community of the game is just fucking amazing. Like, dude, I made fucking We're like toxic. friends. I mean, yeah, I mean every game, every online game can be toxic. <laughs> but WoW, actually, no, I fucking WoW is probably one of those games that most like. Okay, maybe not most, but. Some are relatively helpful, I mean, and then other are just like trolly. I mean, yeah, I think it's half and half. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think know. It's, it's, it, I think it's, I think more on the helpful than than trolly, but I still, think so. I think you, so. You, you don't get as much of that elitism as uh, some other games. You know, where you ask a question, it's like, yeah. would you fucking look it up before you come in here and play our game? Exactly, like, like fucking League of Legends. I'm sorry, any oh, League of Legends lovers. <laughs> Dude, I tried yeah. playing League of Legends recently, and it was just like, all right, I'm out. Like, it, people were just like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, all right, <laughs> okay, I guess I can get the fuck out of here. But wow, if you dude. Know, if if that's not a part-time job for you, then exactly. Don't even bother. But yeah, man, wow is definitely my number one, and I think, I think, I think it's a it's a correct number one just because of how many hours. Uh, so I did the math. I logged into all my characters uh, mm -hmm. recently, right? All of them, excluding the classic ones, but all okay. my retail uh, uh, accounts, and I have over five thousand hours in into all my characters however this is my second account my first account got banned my my first account i played all the way to wrath 
and then it got banned. So I have about maybe another two to three thousand hours. So I have probably anywhere from seven to eight thousand hours into WoW. And it's a fucking shame because if you do the math, that's a lot of fucking days <laughs> sitting in front of a computer <laughs> playing games. But I fucking loved every second of it. Goddamn fucking farming and just fucking running a million dungeons and shit and doing fucking Black Temple. It was just. Yeah, I, I, number one. I, I, I love me some WoW. I can't, I can't argue that. I don't, you know, didn't make it to my list, but definitely an honorable I'm mention. I'm sure it didn't. But now, Mike, what is your number one? To no surprise at all, my number one game of all time is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am actually, I knew it was there because I haven't heard it, but I am actually surprised you put it in number one. I knew you loved this game, but I didn't know you liked it this much. It was a toss up between it and Witcher, to be honest, because Witcher is right up there for me. Those two are really, really fucking close. Uh, Breath of the Wild got the nod because of that. I mean, that game just changes the game. Like no, no other game does shit that game does with like physics and electricity and you can fucking just the world is just crazy. The puzzles are so fucking hard. The puzzles like, are amazing. Amazing, they, dude. Like, fucking the climbing mechanics and the different type of enemies and the gear and the request that game just top to fucking bottom masterpiece bro masterpiece. i i'm not even mad like i'm not even mad that game yeah i was actually i was actually mad you didn't tell me to play it earlier <laughs> i didn't tell you yeah because you're an easy person to get to play a non-online game for sure <laughs> fuck you when i do play it i have fun though um yeah i mean listen I actually, I'm, I, I am actually kind of content with your list, except fucking Kerbal and somewhere in the middle there. But besides that, I'm actually, I, I know most of the games on your list. I, 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 I think. I think we, hold on, I fucked something up. No, that's it. Breath of the Wild. Why yeah, Breath of the Wild. I mean, yeah, that's a fucking great game. If anyone hasn't played it, you should fucking play it because it's an amazing game. Um, I'm, Which yeah, are also. I think. I think my list might get more shit because there's more modern games. But, I mean, shit, you have two relatively modern games in your number one and two. No, my um, one and two are a brand new fucking games. And then, you know, it gets pretty old after that. But Actually, I, I think... I mean, list, I think besides besides that, Rocket League and, like, Kerbal, my list is all old games. I guess, I guess since I've heard of the games, I, I didn't really... I mean, I guess we should talk about the age difference. How old are you, Mike? I am 39. Dude, yeah, you're he's so Mike is 11 years older than me. I'm 28, so yeah. that's I think is the difference between the older games and the not older games. Yeah, like I have because, like two old. I was games. already in my 20s. I was already in my 20s when <clears throat> the Old Republic came out and when yeah, exactly. you know when when uh, you know Dragon Age and all this shit. I was already in my 20s, so it's like I was I was playing those games and like I was into the stories and all that shit. Yeah, but yeah, I think that's the only difference between our list. I think if we're Closer in in fucking age, I think our list would have been relatively the same, except WoW, because WoW is the number one game ever made. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, shit, I'm I'm happy with 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 my list. I'm happy with uh, your list was pretty good. There's a couple of good. like um, I was so okay. So I wanted a couple honorable mentions, or just one honorable mention that I I didn't put in in the list, and I felt so bad was StarCraft mm-hmm. two, and. I, it was I don't know I love StarCraft two but I played StarCraft one a lot more. Um, I still, however, think StarCraft two might have been better. I know it's not the most popular opinion, but I think I think StarCraft two was a little more balanced and it's just a little, um, ease not really easier, but just a little of a I don't know I don't know, just a better game period. But uh, StarCraft one captured me so much that I had to put it in the list over StarCraft two since you didn't let me yeah, allow. Yeah, I got a couple. Like Fable was an honorable mention for me. Uh, also, like Stardew Valley almost made it in there. Wow, I would have fucking uh, surprised if you would have put that in there. Destiny almost made it in there. Come on, Mike. Uh, I fucking love. Dude, come on, I fucking love Destiny. Uh, Destiny's uh, Civilization almost made it in there. Get the fuck out of here! I fucking love Civilization, bro. What you want to do? Uh, what else? There's, 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 there's a few, uh, quite a few that that I, like I was rolling around names, rolling back and forth, and ended a certain way. But yeah, I'm I think there's one this. game that I didn't put, and I wasn't gonna put it just because no one knows the fucking game except part of you because I think you own it. Tower Wars. I played the game a lot. 
I was actually oh, top yeah. 50. I was actually top. I was number 35 in the world. And there was not a million people, but there was like 100,000 people. There's like, there 100 people in the world. No, get the fuck out. There's, a, there's like 100,000 <laughs> accounts, but not really players. I think players like maybe like five people, 5,000 people playing it. And I was like literally number 35. Um, like Fallout, Fallout New Vegas almost made it on my list. Yeah, you Dark, see, uh, I wish Dark I would have. Dark Souls 3 almost made it on my list. There's a bunch of stuff almost made it on my list. Yeah, well. Borderlands 1. Portland has won. Yeah. Astroneer. Come on, Mike. I'm just trolling. All right. Uh, I was like, I know. I'm rolling through fuck? Steam. I'm rolling through Steam and I yeah, saw it. Okay. And I was like... All right. That was our fucking top 10. I know it's probably not your top 10, uh, but um, it, I mean, listen, I know this shit is subjective. Um, and it's just maybe like a lot of my games are just because of my memories of my childhood and what fucking engaged me or whatever. And Mike probably has the same things. But yeah, that was our top 10. Um, let us know what list you think is better. I mean, you know it's mine, but yeah, you can just put it in the comments. Because yeah. Any closing statements, Mike? Uh, fuck you in your list. <laughs> fuck you, Mike. I'll fuck you in the ass. All right, fellas. We out, Mike. Peace. Mike and Asi, we out. Our, best, our list is better than yours. Fuck you, comment. <laughs>